Ash and his friends were just lazing around in the forest by the lake, when Sarah said. You guys know that the winner gets prize money don't you? They nodded and Paul said. Hey, if you win you can get a huge house for your friends and you instead of going back to the little island. Ash thought about it. If he won he'd buy a house for him, Sarah, the trio and Domino. Maybe I will Paul. First let's get through the battle. Let the better man win. Ash said sticking out his hand. Paul shook it and nodded. They both walked away from each other, to go and train. Torterra, Electivire, Magmortar, Hydreigon, Absol and Agron, stand by. As his monsters appeared he spoke. Listen up guys, today we fight Ash in the finals, it won't easy like the other battles in the tournament, but if we put everything we got into it, we can win. They all roared in agreement. Okay, let's train. He said as they nodded and got to work. Charizard, Sceptile, Feraligator, Lucario, Pikachu and, Hey Garchomp are you okay? Ash asked his purple dragon. Yay, just really tired. That Latios was stronger than it looked. Garchomp responded tiredly. Can you still fight? Ash asked. Yay I think so but, Garchomp started before falling down into a tree, exhausted. Guess not, you'll have to sit this one out pal. Now who should replace him? Ash asked himself. Ash looked around for his sixth fighter, until one caught his eye. What about you Tyranitar? Will you fight? Ash asked his rock monster, who nodded in confirmation. Okay then, Charizard, Sceptile, Feraligator, Tyranitar, Lucario and Pikachu, today we fight Paul, our strongest opponent yet. We can do it though. So let's train. All his Pokemon roared and got to work while Apom sat on Ash's lap, watching her friends prepare. After an hour of training, the match was going to star, so everybody made their way to the arena. This is a full battle between Paul from Sinnoh and Ash from Kanto. Begin, yelled the ref. Absol, stand by for battle, Paul said, calling upon his dark type. Lucario, lend me your aura, Ash said, calling on his fighting type. Water pulse, Paul yelled. Dragon pulse, Ash called. The orbs of water and dragon collided and exploded, through the smoke Paul called. Razor wind. White crescent moons struck Lucario repeatedly and after the onslaught, Ash ordered. Extreme speed and bone rush. In a blur, Lucario was right in front of Absol, who was hit multiple times with the aura bone. Dark pulse. Aura sphere. After another collision, through the smoke, another aura sphere hit Absol. Aerial ace. Paul commanded. Extreme speed. Ash countered. Again they met in the middle, even until. Razor wind. Paul called. The razor wind attack knocked Lucario back, allowing it to be struck with the aerial ace. Giga impact. They both yelled. As the purple rockets collided, they both flew apart, both Pokemon landing with a back flip in front of their trainers. Iron tail. Paul called. Copycat. Ash ordered. Both Pokemon met in the middle with glowing tails, even until they both fell onto the ground, unmoving. Both Pokemon are unable to battle. Send out your next Pokemon. The ref announced. Absol, Lucario return. Thank you. They both said. Electivire. Stand by for battle. Paul said calling out his electric type. For alligator. Lend me your aura. The huge Pokemon glared at each other, ready to help their trainers win. Thunder Punch, Paul said. Ice Punch, Ash told his Pokemon. The elemental punches collided, both Pokemon wincing a little bit, but otherwise they were okay. Thunder, Paul said before they broke contact. Electivire hit for Alligator with a powerful lightning bolt, then sent the Alligator back, but not out. Aqua Tail and Hydro Pump, Ash said. Before Electivire could react, he was hit into a wall by a tail of water and hit again with a huge torrent of powerful water. Brick break. Paul ordered. Fire punch. Ash countered. The white fist and the blazing fists didn't collide, instead they hit the other's chest, and send them both flying backwards. Zap cannon. Paul called. Water pulse. Ash yelled. The yellow and blue circles collided, and their trainers didn't even wait for the smoke to clear. Giga impact. Paul called. Aqua jet. The purple and blue bullets collided again, and after a power struggle, 
they still wouldn't budge so their trainers added another attack. Thunder. Hydro cannon. A blast of yellow and blue came from the two bullets and created smoke again. After the smoke was gone, both Pokemon were again, unmoving. Both Pokemon are unable to battle. Send out your next Pokemon. The ref called to everyone. Electivire, for alligator return. They said. Hydreigon, stand by for battle. Paul said as his dark, dragon type appeared. Charizard, lend me your aura. Ash said as his fire, flying type materialized. Hyper beam. Paul ordered. Flamethrower. Ash commanded. The orange beam and the white flames collided and were even, and then they changed attacks. Dragon pulse. Paul said. Dragon rage. Ash countered. Instead of colliding the Pokemon made it so they passed over and under each other. Charizard and Hydreigon were flung back into the stadium walls, but still flew out, ready to attack. Hydreigon. Dragon rush. Charizard. Fire bullet. The Pokemon charged, surrounded in blue and red auras respectfully. Somehow Charizard's attack overpowered Hydreigon's and sent the dark Pokemon spiraling down. Ash saw this as his chance. Seismic toss. Charizard grabbed Hydreigon and flew it toward the ground, but Paul countered. Try attack, but make them all electric. Electricity flew out of all Hydreigon's heads as they plummeted to the earth. After the dust cleared, both Pokemon were flying around in circles in the sky shooting flames and electricity at on another but they all missed. Hydreigon Dragon Pulse. Charizard. Dragon Rage. Both dragon attacks hit the other dragon, sending them both falling to the ground. This time only Charizard got up. Hydreigon is unable to battle. Charizard wins. Send out your next Pokemon. The ref called. Hydreigon return. Thanks. Paul said. Magmortar stand by for battle. Paul said calling his fire type out. Flamethrower. They both called. Their fire attacks collided and were even again. Fire punch. Paul ordered. You too. Ash countered. As their fists met, Ash got an idea. Dragon tail. Charizard's tail swung and sent Magmortar flying into the stadium wall. Charizard. Return. Ill needs you later. Septile. Lend me your aura. Ash said sending his grass warrior. Magmortar. Fire punch. Septile. Leaf blade. The blazing fist and glowing blade met and collided, they were even until. Dragon claw. Ash said. With his free hand, Septile hit Magmortar in the chin, sending him upwards. Fire blast. Spin and use bullet seed. The spinning bullet seed managed to hold off the deadly fire attack until Paul changed attacks. Giga impact. Whirl around with leaf blade. The purple bullet went towards Septile, who jumped with glowing leaves and did a barrel roll and he looked like a green rocket because of the glowing blades around him. The attack met in the middle but Septile was pushed back. After both Pokemon landed, Paul ordered again. Flamethrower. Solar beam. The attacks collided again, but through the smoke ash yelled. Frenzy plant. Nobody could see what happened until the smoke cleared. Magmortar is unable to battle. Septile wins. Send out your next Pokemon. Magmortar return. Thank you. Torterra stand by for battle. Paul said as he released his turtle. Septile. Return. You were great. Pikachu. Lend me your aura. Ash said while Pikachu jumped onto the field. Torterra. Leaf Storm. Bolt Tackle through. Pikachu surrounded himself in a golden aura again, and charged right through the leaves and was about to make contact with Torterra when. Switch to Iron Tail. Ash called. Pikachu's golden aura vanished and was replaced with a glowing tail swinging right at the giant turtle Pokemon. Crunch. Torterra's glowing teeth clamped down on Pikachu's glowing tail. Now Leaf Storm. Thunderbolt. Knock them away. Leaves created from nowhere were shot at the mouse. The thunderbolt managed to knock some of the leaves away, but it still took a good bit of damage. Throw Pikachu and use Stone Edge. Torterra threw Pikachu into the air and shot sharp stones at the mouse, before they hit Ash called. Block yourself with Iron Tail. With its glowing tail, Pikachu knocked away as many rocks as it could, but couldn't defend against them all. Hyper Beam. Thunder. The orange beam and yellow electricity met in the middle and caused an explosion. Razor Leaf. Light Scream. The leaves bounced harmlessly off the yellow box as Ash changed orders. 
Thunderbolt. The yellow box was sucked into Pikachu's cheeks as a power-up, before shooting a bolt of crackling electricity at Torterra. Paul just sat there, expecting Torterra to take it and be immune to the electricity. He was half right. While everybody was looking at the Thunderbolt, Pikachu rushed in and hit Torterra with an iron tail, and at the same time took the electricity back. That won't happen again. Stone edged to bring it down, then use Earthquake. Stones appeared above Pikachu and slammed him into the ground which started shaking violently. After the shaking stopped the ref called. Pikachu is unable to battle, Torterra wins. Send out your next Pokemon. Pikachu you were great thanks buddy. Sceptile, lend me your aura again. Ash said, setting Pikachu by his feet and letting Sceptile out. Torterra, Stone Edge, Bullet Seed. The stones met the seeds and they cancelled each other out, except for a few that managed to hit the other Pokemon. Torterra, Earthquake, Sceptile, Bullet Seed on the ground. The violent shaking started but before Sceptile could be damaged he was launched upwards by his Bullet Seed attack hitting the ground. Stone Edge, hit them away with Leaf Blade. The blades easily knocked away the rocks and proceeded to slam them into Torterra. Crunch. Dragon Pulse. Torterra bit down on Sceptile's blades but was slammed on the head with a dragon attack. Both Ash and Paul had the same think in mind. Frenzy Plant. After the glowing vines disappeared, not many people were shocked. Both Pokemon are unable to battle. Send out your next Pokemon. The ref called. Agron. Stand by for battle. Tyranitar, lend me your aura. Both Pokemon saw one another and glared, eager to overcome the other. Iron Head, Bulldoze. Agron surrounded itself in a white aura and charged. Tyranitar stomped the ground a few times and ran at Agron. They met in the middle, both taking damage but neither showing it, neither wanting to let them be overpowered. Metal Claw, Rock Smash. Like the last time, their fists didn't make contact with each other, but the other's face. Once again both Pokemon fell down from the sheer force of the attacks. Agron. Dragon Pulse. Tyranitar. Dark Pulse. The orbs collided with each other and eventually cancelled each other out. Iron Tail. Dragon Tail. Before their tail collided, they moved, one up and one down, the smacked the other Pokemon in the chest, and sent them both sailing into the wall. Agron. Different approach, metal sound. Two can play that game, Tyranitar, Screech. Two very high-pitched noises filled the arena, when they ended, Agron and Tyranitar were as fierce as ever. Flamethrower. Paul told Agron. Ice Beam. Ash told Tyranitar. The ice attack hit Agron's chest but it launched its fire attack anyway and hit Tyranitar square in the chest too. Both attacks were pouring on the other Pokemon putting pressure on their chests until double edge paul ordered take down ash countered they both charged each other ready to collide until hyper beam they both yelled after five minutes the smoke finally cleared and everybody knew what the results were both pokemon are unable to battle this round is a draw since ash has one pokemon left the victor and winner of the tournament of champions is ash ketchum from kanto the ref yelled as the crowd burst into cheers. Ash and Paul walked to Tyranitar and Agron. Both Pokemon stood up, glaring at first but then they shook hands. Ash and Paul looked at each other, and shook hands too, like their Pokemon did behind them. Ash and Paul returned their rock and steel monsters and left the arena together. As they got out, they were met with their friends who gave them all handshakes and a victory kiss from Cynthia to Ash. About four hours later, after dark, they held a ceremony for Ash. After giving him the trophy and prize money, they went to take a picture of him and Pikachu with the trophy but Ash stopped him. Can my friends be here too? Seeing the ex-friends get up he quickly changed it, my real friends. Ash's group chuckled and got up, while Trips glared and sat down. In the picture was... Ash with Pikachu and Apom on his shoulders, the trophy in one hand and Cynthia's hand in the other, Paul on the other side of Ash with his hand on Ash's back. By Ash's side was Sarah with Evie on her shoulder, hugging Ash's waist. Behind Ash was Jesse and James's head on either side of Ash, with Meowth on James's shoulder and Wobbuffet by Jesse's side. 
Joey was standing behind Paul with his hand on Paul's shoulder and Domino was behind Cynthia with her arm around her. And to top it off, Charizard was flying around in the background shooting flamethrowers into the sky. Time skip five years later. Ash got up from his bed and walked into the living room and he saw his family already up. Sarah, his adopted sister, was sitting on the ground playing with the Vaporeon that evolved from the Eevee Ash gave her for her birthday. Domino was sitting on the sofa talking to Paul, who moved in after his brother passed. In the kitchen were Jesse, James, Meowth and Wobbuffet eating cereal quickly to get back to their card game of war. On the floor running around were Ash's four Pokemon, Pikachu, Apom and Ash's baby Zorua and Vulpix running around playing tag, while Houndoom just walked up to Ash and rubbed his hand with his head. Lucario and Gardevoir were sitting on the couch. Ash looked outside and saw all his Pokemon. All fully evolved, except Pikachu, Apom, Zorua and Vulpix. His Pokemon were Venusaur, Blastoise, Charizard, Pidgeot, Primeep, Muck, Tauros, Kingler, Typloshan, Feraligatr, Meganium, Noctowl, Donphan, Sceptile, Swellow, Torkoal, Glalie, Crawdont, Torterra, Infernape, Staraptor, Garchomp, Floatzel, Serperior, Embor, Samurott, Unpheasant, Seismitoad, Gigalith, Levani, Crocodile, Salamence, Gardevoir, Lucario, Houndoom, and Tyranitar. He even has some new Pokemon. His new ones were Zorua, Vulpix, Zangoose, Melodic, Roseraid, Galvantula and Mianxiao. It was a sight to see so many powerful and gentle Pokemon together, and although most of them stayed out back in the ranch of Ash's house in Pallet Town, Pikachu, Apom, Zorua, Vulpix, Houndoom, Lucario and Gardevoir all stayed inside most of the time. But the sight Ash was really taking in was the sight of his beautiful wife of three years, Cynthia Sharona, Sinnoh champion tending to his and everyone else's Pokemon outside on the ranch. Ash walked outside with Pikachu on his shoulder, and went up to his wife and Pokemon. When he looked at his Pokemon together, he felt proud that they were all here with him, helping him and themselves to be the very best. He felt even happier when he saw his wife, glad that she was with him and she supported his dream and career, unlike the traitors. Speaking of which, they all have to come to Pallet because their Pokemon are at Oaks, so whenever they come they see the huge three-story house of the person they abandoned, and they aren't welcome on his property. Ash and Cynthia walked back inside, arm in arm with Pikachu on Ash's shoulder. Everyone sat in the living room to watch the news. Ash and Cynthia sat together on the couch, with Pikachu and Apom on Ash's lap and Zorua and Vulpix on Cynthia's and Houndoom lying at Ash's feet. Domino sat on the sofa with Paul, Lucario and Gardevoir while the trio and Wobbuffet just moved the chairs from the kitchen into the living room. Just as the news came on Ash got a phone call on his nano decks, so he took Pikachu and Apom outside to answer it. Scott is that you? Ash asked the man on his hologram. That's me. I am calling to tell you that the Tournament of Champions is coming up again and we want you, Ash Ketchum Pokemon World Champion, to defend your title. What do you say? Scott asked full of hope. Ash looked at Pikachu and Apom, who nodded and the rest of his Pokemon who smiled. He turned to Scott and said, I'll do it. We'll be there in a week. With that he hung up and started back to the house yelling. Guys, pack your bags. We have a tournament to crash. While his Pokemon roared excitedly. This just goes to show you sometimes, bad things do happen to good people.